สวัสดีครับ Good morning everybody It's around 6-7 a.m. and this is going to be a vlogging with the Canon GX1 quite an old camera but today woke up quite early wanting to take a couple architecture style photo during the sunrise here's the building and excuse me for a moment ladies and gentlemen as I will interrupt my past self from this boring introduction basically just talking about the camera and the location and it went on for a little bit too long so instead I would like to just show you a set of images that I took of this place before this vlog actually just a small scout and checking it out before this main video as you can see and trying a little bit between the color or black and white a little bit of HDR next set of photos it's on a different day went out with more friends for this Thai holiday celebration and these are just photos of the building not from the celebration itself but in the next few photos already been shown are some film images actually from two film cameras one is the Vivitar and the other one is from a Olympus film camera and it's the first time I use um, night photography sort of with architecture per se um, but sadly some of the photos are obviously didn't come out too well which gives me more reason to come back the next time and a couple long shutter speed duration photograph at the very end but sadly at that time the um, ran out of battery actually and I forgot to bring the spare now back to the main vlog once again after reaching the top the view was okay but there seems to be a lot of roof blocking the main view and the area to walk around isn't as big as I expected actually there was a lot more walking upstairs than roof that I found and just tried to take a few photos up on top but sadly the clouds weren't as interesting as the previous photos that I've shown from another day and then got out another uh, film lens this 16 or 18 to 85 so I'll just do the 1.5 times conversion and some basic small macro ish photography of the flowers on the rooftop we came down now on the other side of the building Behind us is the sun still rising, but it doesn't look really look that good. And so better just turn turn my back away from the sun and see what kind of light the sun is creating on the building itself. But after that I just decided to go down and go to the front of the building to take a photo of a panorama and try different versions between color and black and white. Sadly my shadow is in the way, but I'm a little bit too lazy to photoshop it out. I might just come at another time where my shadow isn't there, or maybe I'll just photoshop it in another time. Do comment below if I should just photoshop it or photoshopping that shadow out would it be as hard as I think it might be. And now back with the 85, just zooming into one of the details of the statue that they placed on the corner of the walkway and just using the reflection of the pond that they have with the architecture and just looking for different compositions.
Moving on to the right side, going to the side of the building, um, just looking for interesting shadows, I suppose, from the rising sun. And with my obsession with the expand crop, just shows to crop this image to get this really wide and very contrasty look. Here we are, the main event, at least for me, for today, though sadly, sun has gone up quite a bit, but the biggest issue now is all of these trees blocking the way, but as I record, looks like there's a small path here for me to stand, so that my tripod and camera wouldn't be blocked by all of these trees that they just planted. Moving forward, unfortunately the scene didn't have such a dynamic sunlight shown because the building is blocking so I would soon walk to the other side and hoping to get a better shot of the building. But luckily when walk to, walking to this side uh, there appears to be a couple of construction workers um, sitting around laying down and playing with their phone and I thought the pose was quite interesting and unique or odd we can say that just breaks up the very straight lines of the architecture itself moving a little bit sideways um, and the morning sun once again uh, got this very what I think is quite nice silhouettes of each of the three uh, construction <clears throat> workers doing their own thing and then there's a black and white version once again that I think gives a better silhouette but I think the colors being green I think I haven't really shot a lot of pictures that has this greenish yellow hue before that I'm not very used to so I find it a little bit interesting that way. Now coming to the other side of the building, now it's facing the sun this time and so there is much more dynamic lighting and shadows and when moving to the center of that side, I spotted another person doing some cleaning and so taken many shots to find a nice silhouette of the person with the framing and multiple framings between the walls entrance and then the pillars itself while shooting saw these two guys walking in and it just seemed like the light sh harsh light shining towards them gave this nice uh, shape to their bodies and this is one photo that I really like of this man uh, walking through the building and I'll first show a sequence of images of me following the man's walking and that even and these are just the uh, JPEGs unedited that when we came come across one of the photos that I really like it really stood out and then here is the edited version of two of the poses that I kind of like one is him and he kind of was looking at me a little bit and lucky with his blue shirt it gave a little bit of a nice contrast with the background bricks and then with the other one the pillar is sort of casting a shadow on him and that's how we got this natural silhouette of him walking and then just what I think is very nice um, straight lines from the building architecture do comment below whether the black and white or the color uh, you think is better and let me know once again another series of images and this is to plan for 
a large panorama that I've been planning to take. Sadly, once again, that the guys decided to put in a lot of trees, and it's fairly close to the building itself, which made it difficult to capture. But with the Fuji 10 millimeter, I was barely able to fit the whole building into the vertical frame. And with 17 photos combined together, we get this. What I think is a pretty nice panorama that doesn't really exaggerate the building's form too much and all of the pillars seem fairly vertical as is required with this kind of photography. An uh, interesting note that I kind of like during the editing stage is the moon is actually captured on the top left hand side of the building and I found that to be pretty cool. And even though I got the panorama that I wanted with the 10mm, I decided to take out my fisheye lens that I think is 8mm or so. And so this takes much fewer photos to complete from left to right and there is a bigger exaggeration of the curves. And I think it almost looks like a eyeball at this point which has its own maybe abstract uh, appeal to it. Also with the sunrise on the right hand side casting the shadow it, and the reflection itself it also gives this arrow looking shape that is pointing to the left and there's just quite a lot of things to look at a lot of interesting things. Now coming to an end just took out the 35 1.4 as I walked back to the car and got a few more photos that was interesting to me and the last one that I tried um, now using the 85 millimeters just saw some shapes of this building with the sun shining once again giving uh, dynamic shadows and using the curve of the building to give a certain kind of crop feeling towards it and so that is the end of this vlog trying out architecture photography and got a little bit of abstract and street photography in between and be sure to subscribe for I have a couple more videos already in the process of editing right now and hope to see you all next time bye for now